Yesenia, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry. I have been trying to record videos and I've, I've been trying so hard to get them like edited and uploaded, but my, my computer, I don't know what's going on with my computer. Um, last time it acted funny and needed an update and now it's acting funny again, but it doesn't need an update. I don't know what's going on with it. Every time I try to film a video and then airdrop it to my MacBook, something goes on when uh, during the airdrop. So when it airdrops to my computer, it ends up all skippy and scratchy and it's just been a hot mess, y'all. It's, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm just staring at my dog and she's just laying on the couch and she's just looking at me like, mommy, come snuggle me, please. In a little bit, sweetie, in a little bit, I promise. Okay. So, uh, today we're doing my September monthly budget close out. So, whew, y'all, it was, it was quite the month. It was quite the month. Overall, I still think I did pretty well because I was still able to put some money into savings and I made a $700 debt payment to my student loans. So, let's just see where my money went. I anticipated, um... Okay, let me start here first. So I did close out paycheck number two. This was the closeout and all the numbers matched up correctly. So that was great. So I'm gonna use these numbers to close out my budget for the month of September. Okay, so I I think I originally predicted on bringing in $4,473.06. I actually brought in $4,676.05, started the month off with $120.55, and then this is what I projected on ending up with. This is what I actually ended up with. So $4,796.60 is the income that I brought in for the month of September. So utilities, let's just start with utilities. This should be easy. So it should be this number plus 80. Now my gas bill was lower than I predicted, but my electric bill was way higher than I predicted, y'all. And then my car insurance went up. Everything just went up. I'm just, I'm tired. So $1,962.67 is what I spent on utilities this month, which is an overage of what I had originally predicted. So I went over by $19.78. Okay, next one. Debt, I believe. Yeah, so that was the $62.75 for my AirPod. AirPod iPad Air, and then I made, so that was actually exactly as I had planned. So there is no difference there. Memberships, did anything go up? So it's 28.51 plus $13, and that's exactly as I had predicted. Great, no difference there. Work, um, all that was charged was my, Zoom, my Zen membership for my Zumba classes that I teach. So there we go. Groceries, okay, variable expenses. $64.35 plus two, no, not six, $261.47. Gives me $325.82, which means I was under budget, which is great. Y'all, I am trying so hard. So I was under budget by $24.18. So in the state of Illinois, our governor approved of, I think, withholding state taxes for groceries for the year. So grocery stores are still allowed to charge the city tax, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, there's a, I have a dual receipt right here. Okay, I have no idea. One of the taxes, I think it's the state tax because he's the governor. Like it was a governor decision, it wasn't a mayor decision. That is actually saving my grocery budget. Otherwise I would have had to up it to 400. Household is 70. So there was no difference there. Beauty, I forgot to put beauty here. Uh, okay, so I forgot to, and that is because I didn't actually make a beauty purchase during the second half. So $205.44. And I was under budget. Yeah, I have to up my beauty budget because 
prices for nails, like for getting my nails done has gone up. $44.56. I am so sorry if that green is so hard to read. It's the only calico pen I have. So personal, I do have a work expense that technically speaking could have gone under the work budget, but I wanted to accommodate, like, accommodate some of the spending for it. So I bought a new speaker for work and I put it under the personal category. That way, like part of it, like it didn't come completely, you know, out of the work budget, but I did obviously go over budget and personal. So I, to me, like it, I feel better knowing I went $95 over budget compared to $145 over budget. So $95 and four cents. Cupcake, my darling child. And then remember, if you're new to my channel, Cupcake has has monthly spending. So what did I buy? Did I buy her food? I could have sworn I bought her food. And then where's her charge on here? Did I write it down? Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, I could have sworn, I think I, I, I can't remember what I bought her, but that's her money. So whatever, if I ever need to buy something for her, it comes out of her budget. And then if she has any money left over, it goes into her savings account. She has a special savings account and that's for like emergency vet visits and stuff like that. So I spent $79.36 and I was under budget. So there should be $40. And that's exactly what I have on this little sticky note right here, $40.64. That will be transferred into her savings. Eating out, I think I was under budget, $44. Plus $40. I was, so $84.67. The reason why I was under budget is because I went over to my parents' house Friday night, and typically Friday night is my night to order out, and they ordered takeout so I didn't have to buy it, which is why I was able to save the last $15.33. Car gas. 63.24. So I am noticing that every two weeks I have to go get gas and it works out perfectly. It just, that's great actually. What the heck? Oh, jeebies. Okay, 61.28 plus 63.24. All right, $124.52. So I am noticing like I'm budgeting $150 every month and I'm always under budget. I'm going to keep it that way because gas prices went up again in Chicago. So I'm just going to err on the side of caution and keep the $150 under budget by $25 and 48 cents, which is great. Savings. So this is actually part of it. This is going to go into her savings. I put $94.14 in my immediate emergency savings account. Cupcake is getting $40.64. And then I put $510 into my sinking funds. There we go. $644.78 total is going into savings and I was over budget, and that is one category you want to be over budget in. So nine, by $19.51, I will take it, y'all. I will take it. Unbudgeted, $79.58, what did I buy? Oh, that's what happened. I bought something off Amazon, I forgot what I bought. I gotta be more specific on those. Um, bought something off Amazon, and then I got a speeding ticket warning. So I'm actually, <laughs> I mean, it sucks because that's $36 I had to pay, but speeding tickets here in Chicago are $100 the first time, and then I think $200 the second time, and yeah, so I would rather receive the warning, but still, that's, you know, kind of, I really try my hardest to drive the speed limit here because I don't want to get those tickets. So I was over budget by $79.58. And then I am rolling over $100 as planned. There is no difference there. So 
overall, I think I was under budget, even though I went over budget in some places. So actually, let me do the math. So we're, oh, here we go. Negative 19.78 plus 24.18 plus 44.56 minus 95.04 plus 40.64 plus 15.33 plus 25.48 minus 19.51 minus 79.58. I was over budget by $63.72. Okay, never mind. I think it was these two. So this means that I spent $63.72 more than I had planned, which is fine. I had the extra money to account for it. So yes, 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 I do. I always, always, always under budget, underestimate my, sorry y'all. I always underestimate my budget as you can clearly see. This is what I anticipated on bringing in and this is what I actually brought in. Okay y'all, here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna add all of these up. And it should equal $4,796.60. Wish me luck. Sorry, y'all, I just ate something. Wish me luck. Okay, y'all, so I just redid my numbers and I completely miscalculated my total monthly inflow. Um, it was actually supposed to be this number right here. So $4,676.05. I'm like, why am I? I was originally off by $126.52. I was about to say, no, 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 no. We need to, what, what? That's too much money. So like last month I was off, where's August? Last month I was off by, okay, I was off by $20.12, which was actually not bad. Like, what the heck? And then the month before, oh, it was July. July I was off by like $50, which is still not terrible, but yeah, I was off by $50.22. What is it with me and the 22 cents? Okay, so, but this time, oh my gosh, I'm like, that's too much money. What did I do wrong? I was only off by $5.97. Yes, that is a huge win, y'all. I was I was freaking out. I'm like, no, I managed every single dollar correctly. I know I did. So it was just my income. I was like, forty seven hundred. Whoof, damn. But no, 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 no. One day, one day, I'll get there. I will get there. Okay, y'all. Thank you so much for closing out my budget with me. I'm. I'm getting so much better at managing my money. Like this number proves it right here. 
this is the lowest I've ever gotten. I'm really hoping next time I can, I think my goal for this month, since I was off by $20 last month, my goal for this month, I'm gonna shoot for under $10. $10 and under, if I get under this number, great. Um, wait a minute, which number is higher? So this means since my income was higher than this number, I guess this number means that I spent less than I anticipated. So if I, who cares? You know what? I'm just glad. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm really hoping this video uploads properly and then I can edit it properly and then y'all can see it. Thank you all so much for watching my video and have a great day. Bye.